a mess and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna fold this or not. I came to the hospital because my water broke at 32 weeks. I'll get into the details about how he's doing in a second, but as far as how I feel, um, I was really nervous at first. I didn't understand what was going on, why this happened, but everyone has been really helpful and really reassuring and positive. I just feel really blessed. My water started leaking at work. I wasn't sure if it was water or not because it was a little bit, so I made an appointment. And when I got home to get ready for the appointment, it just all started coming out, like full-blown water breaking. So I called the doctor's office and they told me to go to the hospital. Long story short, they did test and it was, they're like, yep, your water did break. I was in triage for a little while, then they moved me to labor and delivery because they thought I was gonna have my baby. Or I haven't had him yet. I usually say, once your water breaks, some women have 48 hours, some women have, some women have a week, and some women um, may have up to two weeks. Um, because since I'm 32, when two weeks pregnant now, they want me, to, my goal is to get to 34 weeks. So they're gonna try and keep me here until 34 weeks. A lot of people have said that Many people have gave birth at 32 weeks and everything is fine. Um, so as far as what's going on with him, he's actually healthy. He's, his heart rate is amazing. I don't know if you guys can hear it. His heart rate's amazing. He, they weighed him. They said he weighs 4.7 pounds, which is great. There's no doubt in their mind. They said that he's going to be healthy. Everything's going to be okay. Um, He's moving around great still. The only reason why I'm here basically is because my water broke. It's a little nerve wracking just to know that either I'm gonna have him any day now or definitely by March 1st, which is now in 12 days. I can't wait to meet him. I, I just pray for a healthy baby. That's all I ask and want. And I, I have faith that everything's gonna be okay. They did mention he may have to go to the um, NICU um, for a little while just to get stronger just because he, he may be early. So he just may need help with a few things, but hopefully he won't have to be there for too long. And hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. No, I'd have to say that part probably worried me the worst because to know that he's gonna be there freaked me out, but um, Many people have gave me a lot of information on it and it's made me feel way better. Um, I can see him whenever I want, hold him, love him, feed him. I can be there as long and as many days as I want to, whether I'm discharged or here. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully he won't have to be there that long so we can take him home. Maybe I could post it and let other women out there know that it's gonna be okay. It will be. My due date is actually April 12th and today as of today it's February 17th they want to get me to March 1st my baby shower is supposed to be on March 11th so no matter what he's gonna be here which is fine that's okay I appreciate my family and friends for helping me a lot and who've been very supportive and positive times when I'm here you know you kind of feel alone you're by yourself there's nothing you can really do you're kind of just in this room and it's so nice to know that I have a huge support system and they've offered me so much, you know, since I haven't had my baby shower yet, like what are the big things that you need right now? So I just appreciate everybody and I love you guys so much. I'll show you guys the little monitors they have on me right now. When I first came here, they were monitoring me all the time. Now it's only twice a day because they said he looks amazing, which I'm thankful for. Since my water did break, I do have an increased risk of infection. So they have provided me with antibiotics, which will help. They said babies develop breathing. That's the last step they do. So in order to develop his lungs, they have to use steroids.
Today I am 33 weeks and one day. So we have six days left. We've just been hanging out. There was one day where we thought he was gonna come because I had contractions and they were painful and you know, I, we definitely thought it was gonna be the day. But things slowed down and everything looks great. They said he's healthy. I'm excited, a little nervous for when the day comes, but I know I'm strong. I know he's strong. I know we can do this together. Six days will be on March 1st. So they said, you know, when I make it that, if you know, if everything goes well and make it that far, they'll bring me over March 1st, early, early in the morning. Can I get lonely in here? I'm gonna be trying to keep myself busy and just to stay positive, whether it's coloring or writing or watching a movie. Or, we're making it day by day and I have a countdown. Let me show you guys. Over there on the board, over there there's a countdown. Six days left. guys so this is it it is February 28th and it's currently 11 o'clock at night and as of 12 o'clock I will be 34 weeks so the happy thing is is Felix and I we made it to our goal we made it to 34 weeks we've been here for two weeks and at midnight they're gonna move me to labor and delivery and they are going to start inducing me this is a real deal um, how do I feel? I'm nervous. I'm excited at the same time, but nervous just because I don't know how this is going to go. I know it's going to be uncomfortable and I know it's going to be painful, but it's going to all be worth it. You guys may see a baby in the next clip. Um, I hope everything goes well. Everything is smooth and less painful and I hope everything just goes great. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.